thing that means to me, and it's how other people view me. Comments what are made to me, or actions what are taken against me. It's how other people view you, and uh, it's usually negative. When I was homeless, I used to get bullied a lot, picked on, robbed. You just look down on, like you, you, you don't exist. I don't care whether you're the queen or the pauper, you know what I mean? It is, it is so simple for anybody to become homeless. Yeah, I might be sitting in the doorway with a, with a quilt over me. Yeah, I might be living, but I will find somewhere where I can wash myself. Because when, when, when people look down their nose at you, you know you're better than that. When you see people coming out with all their Harrods bags and the, you know, John Lewis shopping bags and everybody's happy at Christmas and you're thinking, do you know something? I used to live that life. I used to be that person. I don't think anyone should be judged. You are what you are. You are a human being at the end of the day. We're all in the same world and basically, Never judge a book by its cover because what's on the outside is not what's necessarily on the inside and vice versa. Look at your own life because everybody's got faults. But, you know, you can't just judge somebody for, for one merit. You know, you have to look at the whole person. You walk past somebody in a doorway with a, with a blanket around them. Yeah, they're just like a bum. Or, or they're just wanting to score their next hit or next drink or whatever it may be. But it's not like that. If you ever try to, if you ever try to actually sleep on the streets, you don't sleep. You don't sleep because because you because you're afraid. Yesterday, I got told, yeah, you're looking well, really, that, that I was doing well, and then half an hour later or something later, oh, someone says, oh, you're looking a bit rough, and it's like, wow. Sometimes you get told you're looking all right, so it bubbles you up. And then you get pulled down, it's like, oh, wow. And then you start to think and you dwell on them thoughts. We're all individual. We've all got our own problems, our own quirks, our own faults. But at the end of the day, we're all human. So we all feel pain, we all bleed. The amount of people that always say to me, what the fuck are you doing sitting there? Nobody wants to be there. You don't go, you don't, you don't go come out of school and you, and you go to your career advice worker and say, well, what do you want to be when you grow up? Oh yeah, I want to be a piss head and living in, a, living in a doorway. You don't want to be there. You don't want to be using them drugs. You don't want to be using them, that alcohol. You don't want to be doing that. You don't want to be begging. You don't want, but unfortunately, you got nowhere else to be. If they took five minutes of their day to, to, to actually talk to me, they wouldn't have that view. You walk a mile in my shoes, my friend. Then you can come back and, and see what it feels like. Bruises and broken bones heal, but words stick with you for a long, long while.